Hello and welcome to a brand new playthrough on the channel this time. We are doing Broken Sword 5. Now I've, like the previous two Broken Sword games that I've ever played, I've never played this one either. And this is the latest one they did and it's harking back to the old ones from what I understand. Which is good. Because Broken Sword 4 was absolute garbage. So, the yeah. options are restored, never played it. So um, let's go. If you have not played a point King Watch game before, they would recommend you. Would you like to? Uh, no, I play loads of point and clicks. Uh, but the serpent was wise, though, the animals was the virus, and got cursed. Level and said that behold, Adam became like one of us. You get something. <coughs> Battle with monsters, least. Ye not become a monster, and if you case the abyss, the abyss cases into you. Oh my god. Ah. When you say harking back to the old ones, it's even got the old music. Tiago, go with your mother to the trap. Take this. It will always be your guide. Yes, Papa. We will join you shortly. Xavier, the painting. La malediccion. This way. Signora, it is too late. Go. No, Papa. Senor, in here. Search them. Of Paris in the spring, passion, romance, l'amour. I was working in art insurance. It paid the rent, just about. And then, by chance, I met Nico at a private view. You didn't tell me that you were back in Paris, Shosh. We should catch up. Let's have lunch. Nobody move! No, monsieur, not la malediction. Oh. Stay back. Once again, Paris had shown me her dark side. A brutal robbery, a senseless murder. Nico and I were about to be drawn into a new and terrifying adventure together. The gallery owner was dead. I guess sometimes playing the hero doesn't pay. My company had insured the exhibition, so I had a crime to solve. The cops would be here soon. <coughs> I didn't have much time. The priest was giving last rites to the gallery owner. 
I didn't want to interfere. Poor guy. With luck, the security camera had captured the robbery. The cable for the camera ran into the room marked private. The cable... Mm -hmm. The cable for the... Uh, so the, what does... Just 90,000 for this one. The alarm still worked on that painting. I wondered why the stolen paintings alarm hadn't sounded. Hmm. <clears throat> A rare glimpse into the absinthe addled mind of the artist. A snip at only 80 grand. The label said it was painted in 1932. The gallery wanted 80 grand for it. Another alarm working as it should. Another working alarm. Was the alarm on the stolen painting the only one that wasn't working? Uh, probably. This was where the stolen painting had hung. Why that painting? And why kill for it? The stolen painting had an alarm which should have sounded when the painting was removed. I needed to find out why it hadn't. It was the speaker cone for the alarm. It hadn't sounded when the painting was stolen. Looked fine to me. That wasn't the reason the alarm didn't go off. I pressed the vibration detector pad. Nothing happened. I pressed the vibration detector pad. Nothing happened. I'm guessing not, uh... So, the alarm wasn't broken. I suspected foul play. Oh. Um... So that was why the alarm hadn't sounded. A wire had been cut by someone who knew exactly what they were doing. This was an inside job. Found evidence of sabotage. How, how do I go? How do I go back? Not that button. Uh... The pressure pad appeared to be working fine, but the cut wire had ensured that the alarm wouldn't sound when the painting was removed. There's nothing else I can do here. No. The stolen painting was called La Maladexil, painted by someone called El Serp in 1937 and worth just 40 grand. The stolen painting was worth less than the others. So why did the thief target it? Mm. The murderer left a pizza box on the table. The thief left the pizza box behind. I wondered what was in it. Well, no surprise there. Pizza. The guy must have been hungry. There was only one slice left. No one had noticed the pizza box fall onto the floor. I decided to leave it alone. Uh, there was chewing gum underneath it, which I couldn't do anything with. Oh, that's dull. Wasn't he in one of the previous broken swords? It was Hector Lane, France's greatest art critic. We'd met before. It hadn't ended well. <clears throat> For a moment, I thought he was dead. 
but from the snoring, I guess he'd only fainted. Lane was out cold. I was going to need something to bring him around. Lane had fainted. I was going to have to find a way to revive him. Even unconscious, Lane's body reacted to food. <laughs> it was going to take something stronger than pizza to wake Lane. Okay. Well, he did drink a lot of wine, if I remember from previous broken swords. The bus was balanced precariously on the pedestal. I didn't want to knock it off. Excuse me, father. Yes, my son. I'm George Stobart. My company insured the exhibition. My name is Simeon. Is there anything I can do? You can pray for his soul. A senseless murder. On the contrary, this killing makes plenty of sense. What do you mean? A great evil has taken place. This is the work of the devil. What? I am a Dominican priest. I know these things. And now, excuse me, I must pray. One minute I'd been planning dinner with Nico, the next I was talking art theft, murder, and the devil with a priest. There was a small piece of paper in the dead man's hand. It was too intriguing not to take a look. It read, 2.30 p.m., be ready. Innocent enough, until I realized that the robbery took place at 2.30 p.m. There was something fishy going on around here, and it wasn't just the canapes. I quickly replaced the note. There was no way anyone would have survived that. I didn't want Henri's blood on my hands. He definitely looked better. I put the glasses back where they were. Best to leave the evidence the way I found it. Poor guy. In Henri's pocket was a tiny bottle. It was a bottle of Brett. The label claimed it would wake the beast within. Oh, I know what that might be for. There's nothing else on his body, not that I can see anyway. A cryptic note in a bottle of overpowering cologne. No personal effects or anything else of substance. I needed to find where he kept his records. In the pocket was a pair of nail clippers. They were monogrammed with the letters HL. Robbed. <laughs> Time to awaken the beast. <coughs> what? What was that? It smells like... like the 70s. Where am I? You fainted. Uh. Welcome back to the land of the living. I wouldn't exactly call this living. Don't just stand there. Get me something to eat. I've had a terrible shock, you know. I found a slice of pizza. I asked for food, boy, not a cardboard simulacrum. Oh, okay, if you don't want it. I didn't say that. <laughs> now give it here. <laughs> mm. 
given the circumstances, that was surprisingly acceptable. Uh, now, what's been going on? Oh, Henri, is he dead? Afraid so. Poor chap. Just like him to steal the limelight, though. Excuse me. Do I know you? Yes, our paths have crossed. In the Glees Gallery? Of course. The man with the absinthe. I don't suppose you... Uh, afraid not. Pity. I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble remembering your name. I'm George Stobart. I insured the exhibition. <laughs> I hope you have deep pockets then, my boy. Could I ask you a few questions, Mr. Lane? Fire away. Hmm. Did you know the gallery owner? Of course. We worked together on the exhibition. Oh, really? Henri provided the space. I was the creative powerhouse. How long had you known him? As a friend, many years. Our professional relationship had only recently blossomed into this exhibition under my curatorial wing. And now the poor fellow has gone and got himself killed. Do you know anything about the stolen painting? Of course, dear boy. La Maledicio, a little-known work, turned up at the last minute. What about the killer? Were you able to get a look at him? A delinquent in a tin hat. Beyond that, I don't really recall. Oh, yeah, you fainted. Those of us with a higher aesthetic are more sensitive to violence. So you curated the exhibition? What's it about? A brilliant retrospective. A dialectical window on European art's ongoing discourse with the unresolved psychoses of the nation-state. Wow, you took the words right out of my mouth. Who painted the stolen painting? Therein <clears throat> lies a mystery. We only know his pseudonym, El Serp. He was a Catalan, a modernist. His works are symbolic, religious. What can you tell me about the stolen painting? La Maledicio? A challenging piece. If you like a wide cast of obscure saints and fringe Christian symbolism, of course. Not especially valuable, though. The thief won't get much for it on the black market. How about some more of this? I don't think so. As a cell volatile, it was acceptable. As a cologne, it would be barbaric. I'm not going to talk to him about the nail clippers I robbed from him. That would be kind of silly. Father? Yes, my son. What did you mean when you said that a great evil had taken place? Your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. What? Peter 5-8. The devil is all around, Mr. Stobart. Did Henri say anything before he died? He said, Stop the car. I want to get in. Um, what does that mean? We may never know. Uh, okay. What brought you to the exhibition, Father? The painting. Which one? La Maledictio, of course. Of course. The painting that was stolen. I had to confront the evil. I think there's something strange going on here. Yes, Mr. Stobart. At last you see the truth. No, Father. I mean that the robbery looks like an inside job. The devil's work is always an inside job. A wire in the painting's alarm was deliberately cut. Cut by the devil himself, perhaps. Well, as far as I know, sightings of guys with horns and tails have been a little down recently. You mock me, Mr. Stobart. But as you will discover, 
The devil likes to have the last laugh. What do you know about the man who painted La Maledicio? El Serp. He was a man playing with fire. The fire of eternal damnation. Tell me about the stolen painting. Whoever gets close to it will burn in hell. Hey, Father. How about a squirt? I think not. <laughs> Do you recognize these? Nail clippers. I'm not sure what your point is. It's your pencil. Okay. Um. Lane's nail clip. The door was locked with a keypad. If I wanted to get in there and look at the CCTV footage, then I'd need to find the number. Lane worked with Henri, so he was likely to know the code. Okay, let's go speak to him. I need to ask you a few more questions. If you insist. I'm still in shock, you know. So, you help run this place? Maybe you can give me the code to that door. The code to the office? I just thought you might have the number. I do, but I couldn't possibly give you access before the police arrive. I figured I wasn't going to get the door code from Lane by playing nice. I needed to turn the heat up. Um The clippers were the perfect size to cut the wire. Could Lane be the saboteur? I had to find out. That was kind of obvious. Played way too many adventure games to figure out sort of stuff like this. Some stuff might not be as obvious, but that Mr. Lane, you're really going to have to give me the code to that door. And why, pray, should I do that? Because the way the cops will see it, you're the prime suspect. We both know you're innocent, Mr. Lane, but the cops, well, they may not see things so simply. I might be able to get them off your case, but in exchange, I'd like the code for the office door. But that's preposterous. The police would have neither evidence nor motive. Funny you should mention that. Someone sabotaged the alarm on the stolen painting. A wire was cut. What? Who could have gotten to the alarm system? Exactly. It was an inside job, Mr. Lane. You're not suggesting that I... Well, I'm afraid that's the way the cops are going to see it. That's preposterous. How could I possibly have cut the wire? Mr. Lane, this robbery is not going to reflect well on you. As I said, I shall take my chances. You're not getting that door code. This is an inside job for sure, Mr. Lane. The police are going to be very interested in your recent movements. I've been out of town for several days, and last night I retired early. Just saying. You're not going to scare me into giving you that door code, you know. I was onto something here, and I knew it. Lane was sweating. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> Don't suppose you've changed your mind about giving me that door code? Certainly not. Give me one good reason why I should. I might just do that, Mr. Lane. Are these your nail clippers, Mr. Lane? Yes, they have my initials monogrammed on them. Huh. The perfect implement for cutting the alarm on the stone painting. What are you saying? Well, the alarm was sabotaged, Mr. Lane. It was an inside job. Are you accusing me? How dare you? I had no reason to kill Henri. No motive whatsoever. Okay, but I don't think the cops will see it like that. And I sure would like that door code. I hate to say this, Mr. Lane, 
But you're going to be the number one suspect for this murder. So you keep saying, Mr. Stobart. Ugh, keep that noxious potion away from me. Well, you got to admit, the cut wire doesn't look good for you. As I said, this is a preposterous allegation. Mr. Lane, this robbery... As I said... So, you'd been out of town and hit the sack early last night? That's right. I've not been near the gallery for days. Mm, well, there's obviously, um, need to do more. Another working along. But why? Why that particular one? Nico wasn't answering her phone. No surprise. Who's the other guy? Hello, Mr. Rickenbacker? Stobart, what do you want? Mr. Rickenbacker, there's been a problem. Now why does that surprise me? This better not involve the blue lizard. I'm afraid it does, sir. There's been a robbery. Only one painting was stolen, though. Well, what are you wasting time talking to me for? Find that painting, or find a way to avoid paying out. Two ways to keep your job, Stobart. I see. Uh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Anything else you gotta tell me? The thief had a gun. He shot the gallery owner dead. We insured him, too? No, sir. Well, that's one piece. Tell me you got some leads. I'm pretty sure the security was sabotaged. The alarm was disabled for that one painting. So it was an inside job. Who else is at the gallery? There's a guy called Hector Lane. Lane? Why does that name sound familiar? He's an art critic. I think he's connected to the exhibition. Mm. Well, he's rude and ugly. It's certainly possible. So squeeze him, Stobart. Squeeze him till he squeals. If I was going to squeeze Lane, I needed longer arms than these. Find out who disabled the security system, then find that painting. And don't call back until you have. How about it, Mr. Lane? Ready to give me the door code yet? Certainly not. Give me a single reason why I should. Guilty by way of nail clippers. I've been away from Paris for several days and only got back this morning. How could I have cut that wire? Guilty by way of nail clippers. Sheer fantasy. What possible motivation could I have to sabotage the alarm? I hate to say this, Mr. Lane. So... So, you'd been out of town? That's... Mr. Lane, this rock... As... Ugh. Um... Father? Yes, my son. Do you know the code to get into the office? No, but you could always pray and ask for divine guidance. With respect, Father, I'm looking for a slightly quicker solution. Do you know anything else about El Serp? I've already told you everything I can. 
Is there anything else you can tell me about La Maledizio? I've said everything. Oh, dear. <laughs> 